Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Jay. In this tutorial series, I'll be covering how to use Google Sheets API in Python. So this tutorial is going to cater in to beginners. I won't be going too in depth with each Sheets API resource. What I will do is I'll walk you to different examples in the most logical order to learn how to use the API. So since we'll be learning in this uh, tutorial series, I'll be covering some of the important information when using the Google Sheets API. I'll show you how to create a Google Sheet API service instance to connect to the endpoint. I'll also show you uh, how to create a brand new Google Sheets using the API, write data, read data, format the data, creating pivot table, implement cell validation, set frozen rows, adjust column size, and create charts. So these are the topics I have so far. And if you have never used Google Sheet before, uh, Google Sheets is one of the most popular spreadsheet software today, uh, beside Microsoft Excel. And Google Sheet API is one of the most useful and versatile Google Sheets API currently. And given the Sheets API is on version 4, uh, the API has evolved coming from a long way. At the same time, because there are so many layers and properties involved, the Sheets API can take a bit of time to learn, and also not the easiest API to work with. But once you get proficient with using Google Sheets API, you should be able to fully automate most of your spreadsheet work. And before you can start using Google API service, you must have a Google account and provide your billing information. So here I'm on the Google Sheets uh, documentation. For this lesson, I'll go to some of the important information when using Google Sheets API and how to create a Google Sheets API service instance to connect to the endpoint. So the first item I want to talk about is the Google Sheets quota. If you go to developers.google.com uh, slash sheets slash API, on the home page, if you scroll down to usage limits. So one of the best thing about Google Sheets API is that the service is completely free and there's no daily limits. However, there are a couple limitations. So first, uh, the Google Sheets API has a limit of 500 requests per 100 seconds per project and 100 requests per 100 seconds per user. So what I mean is uh, for each user, the user can only make one API request per second. In general, if you are making more than one API request per second, then that means uh, you're probably working with larger application. In that case, uh, I would recommend you contact Google support to increase your quota limit. And I think there's some fees associated. For most of the users, the usage limit is more than enough. And this is another thing I want to point out. So for reads and writes uh, API requests, those usages are tracked uh, separately. Regardless, uh, when you are using the Google Sheets API, there's no daily usage limit. And as I mentioned before, you must have a building account for your project. And if you don't have an account, you can go to council.cloud.google.com and to register for a new account. The next item I want to talk about is authorization. So here on the uh, documentation, uh, let me see. So I want to go to authorizing requests. So there are two ways you can authenticate your program. One is using the uh, API key which is the easiest method, but it's not recommended you share your API key with a third party or external users. The other method is using the OR 2.0 protocols, and this is the recommend method, and you can implement this method to your application to request account permission from a third party users or external users. And throughout this tutorial, I'll be using OR 2 protocol to authenticate our application. So that's for authorizing requests. And the next item I want to discuss is the scopes. If you don't know what a scope is, a scope is basically a different layer of permission. Sometimes you may want to give uh, different users different permission to do things differently. For the Google Sheets API, this API has five different scopes. So you have uh, spreadsheets.read-only scope, which only requires read-only access from a user. Or you can use the spreadsheet scope, uh, which requires read and write access from a user. 
And there are other scopes which request read-only access to the user's uh, file metadata and file contents. For this series, I'll be using the spreadsheet scope, uh, which requests read and write access to the user sheet and their properties. So that's everything I want to cover in terms of uh, the documentation. The next item on the agenda is I want to show you how to enable the Google Sheets API service before we can start using the API. So what you want to do is you want to go to console.cloud.google.com and select the project that you want to use. And if you are brand new to Google Cloud Platform, you can watch my video, how to set up your first Google Cloud project and download client file. And we can enable the API by going to the navigation menu and click on APIs and services and click on library. And here we want to search for uh, Google Sheets API. And click on Google Sheets API. And make sure that the service is enabled. And since my Google Sheets API service is already enabled, so I have this uh, API enable uh, message. Now we enable the Google Sheets API service. Now open your Python editor and create a blank Python script. If you don't have the Google Client Library installed, you can use the command, uh, this one right here. I'll include the pip command in the description below, so you can just copy and paste and to install the library. So I create a module called google.py. Inside the google.py module, I create a function called create service. This function simplifies the uh, Google service instance creation. And you can download the source code using the link in the description below. And here, let me close the google.py file. Once we have everything ready, we can finally create the Google Sheets API service instance. So here I'm going to, actually I'm going to remove the, the notes. I'm going to import the create service function. And here let me uh, make the font size a little bit bigger. All right, so from the Google module, I want to import the create service function. And to create a Google Sheets API instance, we need to provide the client secret file. And my client secret file name is client-secret.json. Oh, should me do this. I also import the OS module. And so my working directory is different from, th from this folder that I'm working on. I'll check that later. But for now, let me create all the variables. We also need to provide the API name. And the API name is uh, Sheets, API version. And we're on version 4. And for the scopes, we're going to create a list. And I'm going to name this list scopes. And here, let me go back to the documentation. And I'm going to grab the scope value. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Now we have all the variables we need to create a Google Sheets API service instance. Here, I'm going to run the select code. I'm not going to run the, the script uh, all together. I'm just going to run each line individually. And let me put this on the right. Right. If I print OS dot get CWD, and let me just check if my working directory is correct. So it looks like my working directory is the same directory that I'm working on. Okay, so that's good news. So that means I don't need to uh, include the folder path to my client secret file. Now I'm going to create my Google Sheets API service instance. I'm going to insert the create service function. Within the create service function, we need to insert the uh, client secret file, API name, API version, and scopes. Now if I run line number nine, on my default browser, it's going to ask me which account I want to use to authenticate. And I'm going to choose my, uh, my secondary account, learn data analysis. And when you see this page, just ignore the message. 
and click on go to followed by uh, your application name. Now your program is going to ask you for permissions. I'm going to click on allow and click on allow again. And once the authentication is complete, you should see uh, this message. Now close this window and go back to our Python editor. Sheet service created successfully. And if I use the the function to print the attributes and methods of the service instance, and you should see spreadsheet resource at the end. So this is I'm going to cover in this lesson. For the next video, we'll learn how to create a new Google Sheets file.